Hi guys, we're going to start in 13 seconds. Doing a countdown from the wet hand. 9, 8, 7, 6, 7 6, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yay! So, yeah, we're going to give you a link right now. Yeah, so you can go and see our launch video uh, from this link. Uh, we're going to do the launch video launching and then after that followed by a shop presentation and office tour. Enjoy the video. Welcome to Cloudify Asia Digital Launch Party. My name is Gavin Long, Chief Opportunity Creator. I have great opportunities, business ideas, innovation to help your businesses to transform in the digital information era. Cloudify.Asia has three key pillars to transform your multi cloud business consumer hybrid cloud, bridging cloud tools, and connected docker cloud. Let me introduce my team. I'm Stephen Sid, Chief Acquisition Officer. I held your technical team to master health and And I'm RK, Health Transformation Officer, together let's innovate. I'm Lionel, Strategic Partnership Instigator. Let's work together on opportunities. I'm Sophie, I'm the Digital Marketing Ambassador. Let's work together. Together, we, we help, help your business, business from Cloudy to 70. From cloudy to certainty. Hi, thanks for watching the video. Okay, we have a few more guys joining us. Um, those who just joined, thanks for joining the live streaming video for our digital launch of Codify Asia. Right now, we are sitting in the in the launch area um, where we're going to present uh, a high overview of what Codify Asia does and. We are going to later going to do office tour and also lucky draw as well, right? For those who have just joined, uh, we just post our link again for video launch. Uh, feel free to click the launch, uh, and then there will be a video of the launching. As we're going to do this launching together, we have a couple of special guests all the way from US has joined us, and then we also have um, uh, a lot of other partners as well who join us as well. Thanks for joining us, especially at this time. A very odd time uh, to um, uh, the Zero Down software team members. At the end of this presentation, I'm going to pass um, the mic uh, to Bob. Then you can present the team as well. Okay. So let's start with our presentation. Okay. My name is Gavin Low. I'm a Chief Opportunity Creator of the company. We want to create opportunities for everyone, whether it could be internally, for our partners, our principals, and also especially for people like you. So, so what we do here is that we want to transform the cloud and modernize the cloud. Today, we are going through a world of cloud, right? Where our customers are looking for cloud solution everywhere, anywhere. 
customers are looking into cloud, but then yet when we ask for PO, when we ask sales, whether it could be a hybrid cloud platform, public cloud services, customers tend to delay. They can say, why? And then there are so many challenges involved today, right? So they like the good things of public cloud, such as paid use model. They want to be able to scale whenever there's a need and requirement. They want to enjoy the cloud native services. For example, artificial intelligence, which is not available in VMware, Hyper-V, and typical platform on-premise. At the same time, customers want the cloud to be compliant. They want to comply to all regulation. They want to comply to all the audits, for example, PCI, uh, Monitoring Authority of Singapore, okay, and of course, for example, Ben Negara, and so forth. At the same time, um, customers want to have better security. Um, there's a big debate here in terms of which security is better, whether it could be a public cloud security or better or even on-premise cloud. But one thing for certain, customers want to have the control security, something they can, can, can control granularly, right? At the same time, they are looking for things like high ability business application across multiple platforms uh, and also, of course, lower bandwidth calls and even a control provisioning. The issue with public cloud today here is that whenever our customers' business unit, subsidiary, other departments, project to use the public cloud, right, they're able to provision as much resources as required. And then the IT has no control over them, whether it could be AWS, Azure, Alibaba, and so forth, right? Customers want to be able to control a quota and also resource provisioning while providing the highest application business continuity to them. Then we come here the heroes, right? We have a lot of principals who come today to provide not only the public cloud, but something beyond the virtualization era as well. We have Azure Pack for Microsoft. We have WAP, which is on top of the Hyper-V platform. We have things like ZStack, which is based on the OpenStack platform from Alibaba. And of course, the one we're very familiar with is the VMware, with automation and the portal as well. To make it enhanced further, we have um, Azure Stack, and even upcoming Apsara Stack from Alibaba, which is an extension of the public cloud on-premise. Let me repeat, right? Public cloud on-premise, in your data center, whether it could be a bank, whether it could be your service provider environment, or whether it could be hosted in your office. But is that all? Is that all? And what are the challenges here today we are seeing? Today we are seeing that these are very three distinctive platform. And then these services is good to have, but there's a lot of mismatch services and consumption, right? For example, for example, for example, right, we can have subscription-based licensing, but in terms of the hardware-wise, it's not in a subscription model. Customers still have to buy HP, Dell, Lenovo, and other other brands of the hardware platforms in a capex way, and not in a consumable opex way. These are the challenges. And to make the matter worse, how about integration? How can we make these people talk to each other, right? So it's very clearly that Azure won't talk to VMware, AWS won't talk to Azure Stack, and Alibaba will not able to talk to uh, VMware by default, right? Because no one wants to build a platform that will enhance competitor platform. These are the challenges here today. And Cloudify here is here to challenge it. We are very proud to be one of the world's first cloud technology financing company. Or we call ourselves as a cloud tech thing company. Not fintech, but cloud tech thing company. Right? So what we do here is that we want to finance either a single technologies or a combination of technologies that can be emitted and be consumed. For example, subscription model, utility model, 
resources or transaction, transaction, transaction base. This is what happening in the world today, right? Where um, transaction base, for example, like Uber and Grab, who do transaction base, you just pay whenever you need the transaction. Or when you go to the public cloud, right, you are paying for the resources as required. Not nothing more, nothing less. And then you are paying over a period of a time and the usage as well. Today, we are very focusing on the cloud consumption uh, as we are specialized in the cloud. But as, as the times move forward, we're going to do technology financing for backup, the uh, even hopefully blockchain and some other technology as well. This is our overall portfolio on how Cardify.Asia were able to transform and codify the business, right? From the bottom right, you can see the infrastructure piece. We can put a hybrid cloud enterprise platform in customer data center through you. We can do consumable base. Basically, what we're going to say there is that through technology financing that we have, we are giving you subscription based model on premise. And then for those who want to be hosted or who want to use the cloud today, we have the connected local cloud in our Cybergiant Malaysia. What does what that, that mean, right? It means that you can have your own cloud brand. You can have your ABC cloud brand, but they're hosted in our Cybergiant Malaysia here today based on Microsoft Enterprise Cloud Platform. Isn't that wonderful? Because we want you to maintain the cloud entity, not the public cloud entity or even not Cardify.H entity. Because at the end of the story, we want you to manage the services. We want you to integrate into the various application, the various digital transformation initiatives that they have, and the existing infrastructure. Same as that, right? And then the way we're going to do that is that we have onboarded a several uh, enterprise cloud two software, right? One of them is actually joining this call today, right? They were able to do high ability and peace quantity across multi cloud. We even can do a single billing. We even can do a multi cloud provisioning from the very single portal. That's what we do. And then people like you, principal like you, right? Were then able to do consumption especially for example AI, blockchain for example in a public cloud, performance service, virtual machine and other transformation for your customer. Cardify.Asia is 100% channel company. We want to enable you further. Whether it could be you are in a principal level today, okay like down or even um, from a software, we want to enable you further by expanding the marketplace, by the expanding the platform, by the ensuring that the financing is being done, and of course the skill set as well. There's a reason why the talent that we have in Cardiff Actually is very unique. We have our CTO and then we have our COO and a couple of others who will be joining us are from the service provider background. It means that Besides operating our own mini cloud today to support service provider like you, our guys are from a service provider angle. They were able to support a level three engagement. For example, software defined networking, for example, complex multi-integration multi into the cloud, billing system, and so forth. And then not only that, right? Not only we want to be your trusted advisor, but we want to go to market with you. Our specialty in our cloud has reached to a point where we can actually productize it with you. We can come in with a red card or service provider with partners together with your costing, with your data center costs, and together with your software and your differentiation to the market. Up to the red card level, for example, like vCore, VRAM, and storage. Technologies is here today. We can bring Azure down on-premise through Azure Stack or Azure Pack, right? And then something that you're very familiar of is will be the VMware Cloud Automation through vCloud or vRealize. And we also have, for example, the ZStack today that can connect to Alibaba straight to do line migration from on-premise to Alibaba. But wait, 
Can you see something in the screen? Can you see the word vCenter in the screen? That is VMware vCenter. You can actually connect to VMware vCenter straight from the ZStack platform. That is the things we are doing. Right? And then the best part is that when the technology enables you to do so much further, right? You, you can provision that in a fixed subscription model to the customers. Typically, we'll be doing two years uh, of the technology financing where customers will have a certain baseline of resources to be committed on. The baseline will be lower than any leasing in the market. And then you can do bursting to the public cloud or even to our connected local cloud in a single billing. We allow expansion, right? We think the same three years we allow expansion of the cloud in your data center uh, especially those who want to burst, right? Whenever they want to have more customers and more consumption model, you can add the hardware platform with no string attached. Let me repeat, with no string attached. And then with the software that we have, single billing, business continuity, and even provisioning has become very easy. That's what we do, right? Today's session, we are making sure that you know how to learn something new making multi-cloud real and simple. We even enhance further, right? Okay, in our upcoming webinar of the solution, we're going to deep dive further what kind of solution model we're doing. We work with people like Dell, HP and Lenovo, right? Even to do and to prioritize the resources consumption for you. This is one of the real examples that we have, uh, we have showcased to our service provider where we are giving them a 60% baseline and 40% buffer. It means that customers, partners, service provider do not need to pay for the additional resources which is not being consumed. You are paying less because the baseline is only 6%. You are paying for the baseline. And then we allow for expansion. Isn't that amazing? And then to make it better, we work with Zero Down software closely, right? Um, for business community across multi cloud platform to make sure that application, for example, web application will be live regardless of whichever downtime. As a, a survey has shown today, right? Most of the enterprise today are not prepared for any cloud downtime. They rely on the cloud so much that whenever there's Azure downtime or even the AWS downtime, they are fully unprepared for, right? So working closely with people like Zero Down, we even can do migration across a multi cloud platform seamlessly. Later on, again, we're going to introduce our special guest to the team. And then working with Cloud Azure team uh, in US, we are the only one in the market today that were able to do fully integrated hybrid provisioning in the Azure stack and the Azure pack. Within the same cloud portal of Azure on-premise, right? You can connect to VMware. Yes, VMware. Surprise, right? And even AWS, Hyper-V, and Azure. You can, customers and the tenant can provision the resources in a public cloud from the same on-premise Azure Stack platform. And then you can use your own currency. It could be rupiah, sing dollar, USD, or even ringgit, right? All the multi cloud consumption, if you can see in this screenshot here, right, were able to be metered and to be consumed and to be charged through invoicing. And then the invoice can be in your own name. Let me repeat, can be your own name, whichever name that you want to choose it to be. It could be ABC company. It could be superhero, it, it could be anything of your own logo and your own branding in a single invoice and billing. No one will able to do that. And with the type partnership that we have with a Cloud Azure and a couple of other software, we can do this for you, right? And with our team, right, we want you to be the champion. We allow and we provide best practices. We provide enterprise class platform. Uh, whether it could be an integrated platform or ready node to make sure that 
your team will able to do what you do best. And then leaving and taking the and we will take the risk away from you. And with the service provider team that we have, right, we make sure that you're able to seamlessly integrate and then to do more for your customer. We are coming to the near end of our presentation, okay? So to conclude is that we want our partners, our customers to able to enjoy the high level services and the service level agreement they have. Today we have customers from banking who come to us and say, hey, through the partner ecosystem, can I ensure a backup SLA? The answer is yes. Do you, do you really want to know what kind of platform you are in? What kind of uh, software you are using? But the customers today just want the SLA and make sure that uptime, the backup time, the DR time is available. At the same time, in the reduced consumption model, right? And then, and then the most important thing is that we want your name to be there. We want you to have your own labeling when you go to cloud, so that you're able to do much more than cloud to customers. You can transform the customers today through this transformation, right? So these are some of the examples that we have in Asia. We have Singapore Changi Airport Terminal 4, where it is a fully automated from the check-in all the way to the boarding. It's even more secure, it's going to scan your face, it's going to know, it's going to know your security uh, thumbprint and so forth and do authentication all the way to the boarding level. And we also can do um, amazing thing, right? In a public toll in China today, there's no tag no smart tag, no ERP required, no mobile phone required, just drive. And then, based on the car plate number, it will be charged to the Alipay system. This is the world today. And in my home ground, Malaysia, working with the Alibaba platform to, to power the Malaysia city brand, you have the AI to power the smart traffic management to monitor and to make sure that the traffic will be there as well. I'm going to introduce um, our special guest today, uh, our special guest uh, from Zero Down Software uh, to speak in a couple of words. Uh, Bob, I want to pass the floor to you to introduce yourself and uh, the team. Uh, I think we have uh, Alan and so Keith as well joining us all the way from US. Yes. Hi, Bob. Hi. Hi, Gavin. Can you hear me this time? Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> well, thank you, Gavin. Uh, just a few words. Um, the success of Zero Down Software comes from our ability to enable partners like Cloudify.Asia for success. We do not sell direct. We offer great technology backed by a war chest of patents private for private, hybrid, hosted, and public cloud workload deployments through our software our service methodologies, as well as, as our service offerings. Our solutions are cloud and operating system agnostic, as you uh, depicted in uh, the slide earlier, Gavin. Uh, this provides an easy way to run a multiple cloud environment that accelerates local regulations and compliance. All, all this is proven in small to large enterprises and is carrier-grade resilience. And of course, we offer outstanding technical support. We are proud of our partnership with Cloudify, who has a great understanding of local market needs, great understanding of cloud technologies, great understanding of IP infrastructures and workloads, and understanding what business solutions are required to keep the computing dynamics of today and tomorrow. We at Zero Down Software want to congratulate the Cloudify team on their digital launch, a new cloud beginning made simple that reduces your risk. As we would say here, we're always available and try to imagine a world without downtime with Zero Down Software. Thank you, Cloudify. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it. Thanks, Ellen. We also have a special guest, Ara Aravind, on the line, uh, uh, all the way from US as well. Uh, Aravind uh, teams do an amazing thing with Azure Stack and Azure Pack. 
doing the things in some of the screenshots that you see earlier on, right? We're going to have a, a deeper time webinar uh, in April to go through the deep dive and the demo uh, for this solution, including the zero knowledge software. Um, Aravin, are you there? We'd like to say a few words to the audience here today. We have um, uh, people from Malaysia and also Singapore and Indonesia joining the call. Hi, Aravin, are you there? Yeah, hi. Hi, Aravin. Aravin, can you hear us? Yeah, we can hear you. All right, great. So thanks for having me. Uh, this is great. You know, congratulations again on your digital launch. And, uh, you know, we really, uh, as a company, you know, we are a, we are a small company. You know, we are present in the U.S. and in India. We provide multi-cloud solutions and, you know, billing for Azure Pack and Azure Stack, like, um, you know, Gavin explained. But as a company, we're able to reach through to various corners of the world through, you know, partners like Cloudify Asia. And particularly in the Southeast Asian region, you know, we're counting on Cloudify to be our chief distributor and then work with the local, you know, resellers, you know, in that region and help, you know, uh, market our product across uh, that entire region and help people see the benefits of being able to use a single pane of glass to manage across clouds and to you know get a unified billing on top of it right so you know it, it's been great you know past six to eight months we have been engaged with cloudify asia team and I'm really looking forward uh, to you know see this partnership grow and uh, have the end customer see the benefit of our solutions hi thanks um, thanks to aravin and the team here today uh, we are very honored and, uh, and happy that you're able to join. So as you guys can see now, uh, we are doing a live video of the office tour, then followed by the lucky draw. Okay, so come, let's come and tour the office. Thanks for joining us today at the digital launch. We're going to do an office tour and then um, this is our launch here where people rest, relax, having breakfast, having lunch, and even sleep here, all right? This is our launch where uh, we also can do events here, uh, just like what we're doing right now. Uh, if the partners would like to do some events here, you can use this space uh, for an open event as well. And um, this is our launch area, what we do for the launch. And we have a coffee. A limited supply of coffee. <laughs> yes, you can uh, drink the coffee so that uh, people will able to energize, especially the team members here today. And then I'm going to show you um, the meeting room and pass it to, over to Lionel. Hello, I'm Lionel. Um, over here we have four meeting rooms. It's for general purpose. And then uh, we like to brainstorm, share ideas and collaborate together. And also, we, do you know that um, we share an office space with two other companies, which is Prime Access and Gameka. Prime Access, it's, uh, they seek to do away with the card access system and then replace it with the door access with the phone. So you use your Bluetooth to unlock the door. And uh, Gameka over here, this is one of the developers, they create games, they create applications, and they give it, there's a term called gamification, which they use to uh, make games out of everyday things. So um, that's the entrance of our office. Over here is a walkway where we have our four cubicles. Uh, with our partners, administration, finance, prime access, and the Gamika CEOs. And I'll pass to Gavin over here. Hi. You can see here there's a lot of grass, but this is not a farm, this is our office, right? And uh, prime access sitting here, okay? Come over. Let me show you some of the nice people in the office. We have the Gamika team. Hello! Hi. So Gamika does um, games, gamification, uh, web development, and so forth. This is one of the games that they are doing, Pluno, and also Network. So we have the designer, we have a programmer, uh, even uh, directors here. Come over to where we sit, right? This is where we sit. We even have a secret lab chair for our team member to enjoy. And of course, uh, we also have a rack where 
the servers, example like the Geostack servers, together with the, the Alibaba servers, that were able to do POC and the demos as well for partners like you. And then phasing out of our windows, we have the best view of the office, facing the vertical, and then we can see a park, plants, okay, of course, buildings, construction across. There's a lot of offices, uh, even MSC companies is here, uh, including uh, Honeywell, uh, F-Secure, Touch and Go, and so forth. Okay? Thanks so much for joining. Um, don't stay, don't go away. We're going to go next to a lucky draw. Okay? We're going to pass it to Liner and see who will be our lucky winner of the digital launch. Pass it to you, Liner. All right. So I believe you guys have uh, able to see the screen now, right? Can you all see the screen? Like spin the wheel screen? Yep. Huh? All right. All right, right. Wheel of Fortune, are you ready? We'll see whose lucky name might appear. And then uh, we'll contact you and send you personally the gift. And uh, probably meet you... Uh, if you're in Malaysia, we'll send it to you personally. If you're overseas, we'll courier it to you. Everyone right. stand a chance. Everyone stand a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have your number, Alex. I have your number. I have your number too, Jeffrey. Alright, let's count. Uh, five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. And Mr. Hazri. Mr. Hazri. Uh, yes. Okay, but 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 let's. Uh, is is Hazri? Did uh, Hazri join? Is Hazri in the room? Oh, he's not. Oh. Uh, yeah, he's not. Shall shall we try again? Shall we try again? Shall I spin the wheel again? Cause Hazri is not in the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's give you a try, okay? I count again. Five, four, three, two, one. Partipan. Is Partipan in the room? Let me check, let me check. Not in... Uh... Okay, okay, we try again, we try again. We try again. <laughs> okay, huh? Five, four, three, two, one. Is one. Is this one in the room? You try until someone gets it. Also not in. Okay, okay, okay. I try again. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Boy! What a Let's Congratulations. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. <laughs> yes, we are. Oh, you are here. Thanks, thanks so much, guys. Thank okay. you, everyone, for your support. Thanks for joining. Um, so that's how we're going to deliver this present to you. Uh, uh, but after the launch, right? Uh, please uh, continue on, as we're going to have a, a few more webinars lining up for you guys. Um, to able to understand deep, deep time further, right? How do business community be applied to your customers in a multi-cloud environment, right? How do people like now are able to benefit from the hybrid cloud that we have? And at the same time, uh, uh, please follow us on the Facebook and LinkedIn as well where we're going to post our blog, our demos and also our webinar uh, to you. We're also going to have a deep dive into uh, the cloud observe the demo that we're going to do uh, by the, the Cut Observe team together with RK to better understand how we're able to do the single billing and to help the customers to go through this. Then you all need to remember that um, the most important thing here is that hey, uh, it's all about the customer's transformation. And then we are here 
to able to to bring you guys further on one step uh, into this journey. Okay, uh, we're really very happy here today, and then uh, thanks so much for joining us uh, today. All the way, uh, people from Indonesia. Uh, I think we have uh, a couple of people from Indonesia as well. Um, I saw, I think, uh, Pak Tony is here and also everyone is here. And then we have uh, people like, from Singapore, we have uh, Terence, Rosling, a couple of guys are here. Uh, really thanks so much for you guys for joining all the way. And then uh, congrats to Alex. Right? Alex, thanks that you have, uh, congrats that you have uh, won uh, the, the first DGI of Sport Mama 2. Uh, probably you are the first in Malaysia to own this. Uh, uh, thanks. Okay, and then we have uh, uh, people from Bright that join us, and then we also have uh, Tommy uh, that have joined us as well. Thanks a lot to those who come come all the way in from the US as well. Thank you so much. And then with this, we have officially launched the company. And then uh, please again follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook as we're going to have much more exciting activities in the near future. Thanks, and then I don't want to keep uh, between you and the lunch. Okay, thanks so much, and have a nice day. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you guys soon. See you bye. soon. See you soon. We'll be in touch. Thanks. Bye bye. From cloudy to certainty.